Catholic education was always part of my family. Um, it all started back in, at St. Clair's on Staten Island in Great Kills. My whole family went through that school, my cousins, my mothers, my aunts, my brother. Um, so right from the early beginning, it was instilled in, in me and my brother that Catholic education is important. I think the whole thing with Catholic school is like the immersion. Like you're just immersed in religion. And it's not just something you do once a week at CCD or once a week at church. It's your whole life. It's every day, every little nuances of the classroom day are layered with morals and values and, and, uh, and religion. You cannot be successful if you don't have God within you. That's my opinion. Nothing can be done without God. Your success lies with, of course, your education. But what is education if you're not that human being that gives more to the world than just your education? Me as a child, I went to public school, and not that it was a bad thing, it just lacked that community and that family that lasts with you through time. I have my oldest in Catholic school, and she's gonna be going into fifth grade, and just the bonds that she has made with the children and the school, from the principal down to our security guard, it's, it's just a different experience. And me and my husband, the relationships we have made with the families, with the teachers, with the staff, everybody knows you, you're not just a number, they know your children, they know you by your name. And to me personally, that was a big deal. It was important to us. I was a New York City police officer, sergeant, lieutenant, went to the private sector, and lo and behold, I was hired to do security here, and I didn't quite know what to expect, and I was pleasantly surprised. The values that they instill in these kids, you know, they're, uh, they're social and uh, respectful, which is very important. Uh, sometimes you, feel, you see other kids have strayed and they've lost respect, the respect for their adults. Here, you see it. The best example I could give you is in the morning, a child may come in, they may be using the uh, restroom. When morning prayer starts, they stop, and that's it, they pray. When that's over, the Pledge of Allegiance. They face the flag, they face the speaker, finish the Pledge of Allegiance, and then they go on to their class. That, that, that was quite impressive. And you know, everyone's first priority is our, is our, our well-being, and, and if, you, uh, if you spend a re really like a day with us, you'll, you'll like always get that family atmosphere and stuff like that. And like it's really like all, all about like welcoming, welcoming us in, into like the school and stuff like that. <laughs> this is my daughter, and she's my third child. So I had she has two older brothers and a younger brother. And my children all went to school at St. Charles. Um, and I thought it was very important for them <clears throat> to be part of what I grew up as part of a family, like an extension of your family. It's, it's uh, right? I mean, you say that all the time. That Yeah, very... I, I feel like um, the connections that you make transcend generations and um, the connections that I have with the families here now and, and how my kids are friends with their siblings, I, their siblings' friends, and it's just, you know, my kindergartners think that their fourth grade <coughs> brother's friends are their friends because that's how we're all together and, and constantly, it's just like a community feeling that you don't get in a lot of other places. I love the faculty. Uh, they're all so nice. Uh, they're always there for you if you need them. They always make learning a lot more fun and interesting. And it's just, they do the job really well. My role as an ELA teacher, I select certain novels. So every novel that we have, every character trait, every attribute, every motive of a character, every antagonist, we bring in the Christian faith into that lesson. So it's cross-curricular. It's not just, you know, dependent on ELA teacher. Even in science, even in social studies, you know, the motives of people in history, why they made those choices, the impact they had. So we're able to freely bring God in. We're able to bring in the Ten Commandments and the choices we make, whereas in a public school, you have to be censored, and you're not free to implement that. So I have the freedom to always have God in the classroom, 
and to center lessons, especially with the LA and the reading and the literary practices around that idea. Throughout my years here at St. Charles, I've actually learned a lot about my faith and it was all through the teachers. They, they, I say they taught me really well about my faith, about Jesus, about God. Um, they, they did a pretty good job and I started to also pray more and go to church more. So I feel like that really uh, strengthened my connection with God and my relationship with Him. It just based off like my classes and like my friends, it makes me want to go to church more every day and pray more every day. It just makes me really want to be more of a Christian now in my faith and understand more of my faith in that sense. I think about my friends and family and how I can help them every, every, every day. Uh, before I eat sometimes, you know, ju ju just to give th thanks to the Lord that Thank God that I have this food on the table. That that, that I'm able to be that, that I'm able to be playing a sport that I love. You know. What children need to know today is that it's a very eye-centered culture, and they need to understand that it's not an eye-centered culture. You know, we are directed by God, and when they have that trust and faith, that there's a bigger explanation for all of this, and they surrender to that hope, and they have that constant prayer. That's what life is all about. St. Charles truly is a home away from home for these kids. They're here eight hours, nine hours a day, um, very often more than they're actually home. So for it to be a welcoming community, um, and it's great that we could all come together and not only just do math, ELA, science, social studies, and, and mold the mind or the body in, in physical education classes and things like that, but the fact that we can touch the soul of a child and, and you know, decision making and what's right and what's wrong and, and um, what kind of lifestyle should they be living to be good people and good students. Um, that's part of our mission, is to be lifelong learners and to be positive contributors to the society and, and to our local community, all with the idea of Catholic education being at the fo focal point and, and the main point. If I could be a teacher one day, I would probably teach social studies because I love learning about history and what has gone in the past. If I was a teacher on Monday, I would teach math because uh, I'm I'm pretty good at it. So I think I could make the class more interactive and fun by maybe finding some games you could play that also include math, try to make the kids more interested and more um, engaged. Yeah, that's the word. If I could be a teacher tomorrow, I would probably teach a religion because I teach religion because I want younger kids to, to like get a better understanding of why we have so many nice things in the world and why nature is so beautiful as it is today because of God and, and that's the reason why.